This first part here that we're going to be dealing with is going to be an actually let me let me zoom in a little bit on my camera here so you guys can you can see a little bit better ah there we go I think that should be good enough right there I don't want to get too small here all right so we want to draw this baby right here okay so we're thinking well how do I plot this picture out in my mind well this is this is going to be we're going to we're just going to term this baby baby caricature all right okay all right so when we draw if you look at these relation if you look at this picture over here that I have on my screen right here okay I want you to look at the relationships okay uh, the features the eyes and the mouth and the nose so even if I don't look at this baby let's not even let's cover up that baby's face and let's do this okay we're not gonna cheat we ain't gonna look at the baby right Okay. This is what we call the planning phase. In other words, we don't have to do too much thinking. This is the first thing we're going to draw. Now let's uncover the baby. Okay. All right. And now this is what we're going to do. Watch this. Now we're going to start adding what we see here from our baby okay 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 you get it we're going to do a little bit of jawline here Remember we talked about our toast earlier. Now, with this baby here, he has a big face, right? So he appears to have a big face, which means that we're gonna go with a very wide, a very wide shape. Okay? And you can see that it's starting to look like the baby. <laughs> Not the rapper, the baby, but the baby, right? <laughs> okay. 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 So you can see we have a real good little picture there. And we didn't have to do really much of anything. We'll just darken this top line in here. Okay. Maybe put some more lighting in the eyes. All right? Kind of like they did in the picture. Because he has very light color eyes. Okay. So we can see we got a real good baby cartoon picture and all you gotta do is put the little fella, you know, put his name or whatever, okay? So this part of the drawing, placing the features or knowing how to place your features within space is what you have to learn how to do in your head when you first start, okay? Yesterday I was at working out and uh, I remember uh, I was talking with a young lady at the front uh, one of the hostesses at the work at my workplace and they were talking about um, well how do you see this person as a cartoon and I started explaining to them that faces are very formula as far as positioning so you can draw once again the features however you want to express them that's your individual uh, that's your individual uh, interpretation for instance I can draw these eyes here or maybe I don't maybe I want to draw the eyes a different shape maybe I want to go more toward a realism style or a more you get what I'm saying so now as long as I'm following the same as long as I'm following the the pattern it doesn't matter what style that I draw the eyes in you see here so this right here might look a little bit you know what I mean 
you know, I would use a more of a, I would use more of a deliberate shape, you know what I'm saying? Like that, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I might use a shape that's more like this right here versus that right there. But you still can get away with drawing the caricature using any, either one of these shapes. You know what I mean? So you're uh, basically what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, for your caricatures, especially once again, going back to babies. OK, these are the proportions that you want to use. OK, if we wanted to draw this baby doing any expression these are just different expressions right if you look here this might be a smiling baby shape okay so if you look at this picture right here right we can take the same picture okay and let's uh put another sheet of paper here on top okay all right and then we can do like this right here so we we'll use this we'll do the same thing Okay, maybe we might want to go with a shape like this. Once again, we want to use the same, we want to use the same proportions. We put our nose here, okay. Okay, you see what I'm saying? And then look, all we gotta do is do that. So now we got the same baby, but now the baby is smiling and he's looking over there like this, all right? Okay, same exact proportions. All right. Remember that if their face looks now, if your face looks very big like this, that's another rule of thumb. Is you want to make your features go toward the center of your shape. So if you picture your your head like a, I don't know, like a piece of paper. We talked about this the other day. Um, you want your shapes to kind of fit in the center you know what i'm saying of your of your of your page so you see how all this space is right here okay obviously i could have put it at the bottom so if just so you'll have an idea a mental idea right watch this we can put the, we can move all the shapes down to the bottom of the paper okay but you can see here we left a lot of space here and here and not a lot of chin space and we left all of this up here to kind of do that head shape you know what i mean you get what i'm saying so you want to think about how your features are going to take up space within space okay all right so that's um how you would tackle the baby caricature once again guys hey how you doing today all right once again we are talking about planning of your caricature planning how much planning is involved and then where does planning where does your planning turn into or when does it become some some type of spontaneous thing okay so you want to have both of these in your caricature your planning simply means knowing um your planning comes in in placement okay and then your spontaneity comes in um individual like uh, a feature style is what i'm saying okay you know what i'm saying so uh another thing like for instance I, i've been i know you guys i've probably shared this a couple of times with you uh, about playing like the uh piano i've become very fond of the instrument but I realized that all of the songs are made up of the same piano, uh, same chord progressions. A lot of songs use this very same chord progression. But what differentiates between the songs is the style in which they play the chord, right? So, you know what I mean? We can. Da, 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 right? or we can go but we still placing our fingers on the same keys okay so the same thing is here with your pictures you want to know there's a science to the placement of the features 
that you cannot disrupt or you will not be able to get a likeness okay and uh if you want to compare this to life you know what i mean um you can say that there's a science to life there's a way to have a conversation with someone right you can say words right but then you get what i'm saying you can say you can use the words but then you get to choose your tone and inflection for instance you know hey go over there and wash those dishes i might say to my children wash the dishes pissed off and went this is washed right or good morning how are you today can you do daddy a favor what's that daddy can you wash the dishes for me i really would appreciate it oh no problem dad you see i got to use i was spontaneous in the way that i used the words you get what i'm saying i use the same words i just said them differently Okay, so that is the difference. So we're going to explore this through our caricature drawing today. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. Let's get out of here. Get that out of here. Okay. Um, in other words, <laughs> what kind of my voice is sounding fuzzy. Maybe if I if I move back a little bit, is that better? Let me know, because I might have just been too close to the mic right there. Is that better, Miss Ebony? Yeah, just probably is what it was. Just a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah, just let me know. Sometimes I, I know you got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes if I talk too close to this mic because um, it really picks up everything. So you got to keep that. You got to keep that. You got to be aware of that distance uh, between you and the mic. So I'm sorry about that if I was talking a little bit too close to the mic there. All right. Um. So anyway, as I was saying, every uh, hopefully did you guys, everybody understand what I was saying just now? about the placement and the features. Did that make sense to you? Okay. Uh, once again, your placement being the tools, how you use the tools is up. Is kind of up to you. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jody. I appreciate you now. <laughs> okay. So um, now this picture I, I bought up here because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I feel like I want to I want to do the quiet store. All right. All right. So uh, this is uh these are emotions here. Um, these emotions, once again. So we're gonna once again, guys. We're talking about planning your caricature, okay? And now we'll, we'll demonstrate as after I go through these points with you, then I'll demonstrate with you, okay? First point, remember, was placement and planning, okay? And feature style and your spontaneity, okay? All right, now also emotions. Emotions are also, let's do it like this. So we'll just put planning over here. I think this is the easier way. And then um, I guess we can use... Um, Planning and um, I guess we can just that's the only word I can really think of that would properly convey this alright so what can be planned what part do you apply the planning to okay number one is going to be placement of the features Number two, emotion. Okay. In other words, these are the socially accepted. This is the status quo of the emotion, 
how your face is going to look. That's how we all know what everybody's thinking because our face. <laughs> hey, how you doing today, Josh? Our face gives off emotion, right? So if I go, this emotion right here is, you know, I'm, I'm pissed off. This emotion right here might be. Right, this might be, I'm, I'm very happy today, right? This emotion might be, oh snap, my wife's coming. All right, oh snap, I just got caught. Oh snap, I'm surprised, right? Can't believe that just happened, right? This emotion, you know what I mean? This might, what's that emotion right there? You know what I'm, you get what I'm saying? So whatever I'm doing with my face, I have to choose an emotion in my caricature. So I have to do placement and then I have to talk about emotion. Once again, the only thing that's spontaneous is uh, drawing your drawing style. Okay, what do I mean by that? Once again, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. <laughs> so let's look at let's let's demonstrate let's demonstrate first of all with emotion okay so let's say we want to draw a surprised face this is the universally accepted expression it's the official spokesman <laughs> for Surprise, right? If you look up surprise in the dictionary, this is what face you will see. A picture's worth a thousand words. Okay. Now, this is the emotion. Now, the placement of the features, right? Let's go ahead right here. So, this is the emotion. But let's go over here to a placement of the feature, which is also something that we can plan. So, we can move the shapes let's just draw two pieces of paper here I can move my shapes out here right in space and you get what I'm saying or I can I can I can move them together right this part is planned. So based off of, this is gonna determine what the person's feeling. This is gonna determine how the person's gonna look, okay? Now, over here is gonna be our spontaneous drawing style, okay? What does that mean? Well, that means that I can choose to draw this emotion however I want. So let's just say I wanna do something like this. Okay, watch. Okay. Do you understand? Does that make sense, guys? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, so I hope that that broke that down for you. Okay, planning, placement, and emotion are planned events. So in real life, right, you get to choose where you want to be, right? You get to make a conscious choice, right? You get to choose the emotion that you're going to be in. You get to choose your mood. You get to choose your mood and you get to choose your placement mentally. You get to choose where you're going to be at mentally and how you're going to emotionally respond. Okay? But also there's a, a, there's a there's an air of spontaneousness you have to allow in all situations because of the fact of you can't predict 
the other person's response or what the other person has chosen as their placement and their emotion okay so this is I, I try to equate these things to life so that you can think about them deeper than just drawing and then it'll stick to you more when you do draw you'll be thinking man you know what Rouser said that I can choose my play I can't I don't get to choose placement I don't get to choose emotion excuse me and that's what I meant to say you don't get to choose your placement you get to choose you don't let me go back you get to you choose the emotion but you have to draw the socially accepted way to portray that emotion you understand what I mean okay so this is a socially accepted portrayal of an emotion so check it out you know one of the, the crazy things I, I found out um, okay I don't know if you've ever been to work and you didn't feel good that day or you've been in a situation you really didn't feel like being in right um, so you had to uh, fake the emotion you had to wear the socially accepted face <laughs> for that situation right you know what I mean prime example person walks up to me and says sir I don't like you I want to I want to I want to slap your face you know what I mean and I say <laughs> really sir that's interesting okay <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I get to, I had to put on a socially accepted face. And that, this is the crazy part, is that people can't, sometimes we think people can tell what we're thinking and that's just not true. They tell what we are thinking by physical actions. You know what I'm saying? So, if we have control of ourselves, we can put on any face we want to at any time. We can say what we want at any time, right? If we learn to self-mastery, you know what I mean? So what do you want your caricature to say? What placement do you want to put the features in to make it look like them? And knock yourself out with your drawing style, all right? So let's get down to some caricatures so we can practice this thing, okay? All right, so we're going to keep our emotions over here. We're going to keep our emotions in check. Get over here, emotions, right? <laughs> and then um, we're going to go to, uh, let me go to my faces here. Okay. And, uh, all right, so let's see here. So we're just going to take a regular plain face here. We'll put this one over here. Okay. Or maybe what I should do here. Hold on. I'll tell you what I'll do. Wait a minute. Let's do this here. Let's go here. Let's, let's do this right here. Let's look up... Uh, All right, hold what you got, guys. So I'm, I'm just finding a. Um, let's see. What about this one? This one looks colorful. Okay, so I think this is going to be a good one to work from. So let me download that image and let's open that up real quick. Oh man, it might not blow up big enough. Okay, I might need to hold what you got, guys. I might need to. Uh... OK. 
Okay, this is okay. I'm just trying to find some regular faces we can use so I can put them on my desk here. Okay. Here we go. This one right here looks like a good one too. All right, let me see here. All right. There we go. Okay, so we got some good pictures here. All right, so let's look at Let's look at this picture right here. Okay. Hey, thank you so much, Cherish. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't even see you till just now. Thank you, Cherish. I, well, I like your little character right there. <laughs> How did you know I was a gamer? <laughs> and if you guys look at the emotion on that guy, right, on this, on this remote control, this dancing remote, it's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? That's a happy... Uh, face right there okay so this is what we're gonna do today right we're gonna i'm gonna use uh i'm gonna keep my emotions chart up here but i'm gonna keep my picture down here this way i can i can illustrate what i'm looking at so we're gonna we're gonna plan our caricature in the mind first we're gonna plan what we can plan and then we're gonna be spontaneous about the rest of it okay all right so Let's look at the emotion. What is what is our character feeling right now? Okay. Well, you know what? Our character is feeling uh let's just say she's feeling something like she's feeling pretty happy. I would say maybe something like this here. Okay. Now <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to draw basically she doesn't her her now you can smile in two ways and she this character is not smiling and this is actually more of a let me see let me find another one because this doesn't have this has more of all the eyes here look really kind of surprised to me so let me look up let me let me look at my other emotions chart real quick so i can pull up what i want Okay, let's look at, uh, let me see, what about this one? Let me see if this one has it. Okay, here we go. All right, you see that right there? All right, so that looks good. That looks like a good emotion right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to we're gonna start drawing our picture. So what do I notice about her, about her face, okay? Well, number one, um, I noticed that she has a, she seems to have a big face to me. I mean, you know, she has a lot of cheeks, right? She has a lot of she has a a lot of cheeks here. So what I would want to do uh, with her face, I, I'll go ahead and I'll draw my wine glass shape first. So I'll I'll go ahead and I'll do like a like a tall kind of a wine glass shape, and this will just represent our our picture in space, like the you know what I mean, like our piece of paper that we're gonna put our features in. Okay, so this this right here is literally this part of the drawing up here. So you can see where the face is coming up to here. So that's really what this is here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing this right here. Okay, and I'm drawing that shape like that. So I just kind of mimicked her face shape. And then I, you know, once again, we'll make it look like a little wine glass, right? Like we did, okay? Only thing is the wine glass is not cut off at the top with a straight line. It has a hairline. Okay, now, her eyebrows take up a lot of space in the picture, okay? But her features do not. Watch. Well, this is what I mean. She has eyebrows that come way out here. Okay, let's talk our way through the picture, okay? But, because we're trying to make it look like the actual, the actual picture. So I don't want to just draw anything. I want you to, you know what I mean? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to say, okay, her eyes do not take up as much space. Look at them in, re in relationship to the eyebrows. Look how much more space there is on the sides of the eyes than there are on the eyebrows, okay? Which tells me that I need to move my features in closer to give her more space here, right? So let's do it. So I'll use a shape from, the, from, the, uh, from my emoji here. Watch. 
So I, and she has small eyes. So we'll do something like this. So I'm gonna draw this real ABC for you, okay? So we're gonna move our features in over here, okay? So notice I didn't leave a lot of space here. Okay, so a little bit of space here. Okay, then I left a lot of space on this line here, okay? Then I drop down to the next level. Okay, so my next level is gonna be where is my nose at in relation? Now, what we're gonna do here is we'll go ahead and we, I just kind of judge the distance and I'll draw a shape. And we're just gonna do something real easy. That's a real easy shape, okay? All right. Okay. And then we'll come with our map shape here, okay? So this is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna look at my smile like this, okay, watch. I'm gonna do this. She has a small, so we don't want anything that's real big, right? Because if we put her smile way out here, it's gonna kill the effect of the eyebrow. So we really don't wanna do that. We wanna just do something that's kind of, you know, so here and here, I might do this. Then I'll draw the bottom of my mouth kind of where I want the bottom to go to, like that, All right? Like a smile, right? Looks like she's smiling, right? Mm, right? But now we just put the top on there, right? See that? Okay. So now we'll put some lips on our smile. One, two, and then we'll give her a chin shape. Okay. Some little eyebrow eyelashes there. Okay. And then you want to put the teeth. Normally what I'll do here is I'll just concentrate on my front two teeth. The rest of them I really don't care about. I'll just kind of fade them off in the back right there. Okay. And then we'll just put our little thing in there. Okay. Now you can see how I made all of the features. Basically all of her features here I know are toward the center of the glass. The only thing that's gonna go out from the that's gonna extend out past that is gonna be the eyebrows. So that's the observation I made about her face, okay? All right. And once again, when you see somebody else with a face like this, you don't really have to do a lot of thinking now. You understand what you need to do in order to achieve the likeness that you want okay and maybe over here I might watch this now I can draw some little shapes like this and make it like a C shape right okay all right now let me see let's uh we can just draw the hair shape on there just so you guys so I'll just put some hair on my shape here Now, let me tell you, this is a very good, she has, she has freckles, do, 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 right? So this is a very good beginner caricature, okay? If you just learn how to do it, just that basic, this is where you're going to start. Eventually, you can get into the fly stuff where you, you know, you see you make the thick and thin lines, but you have to learn how to make it look like them without all that complicated stuff first. And then as you progress in your drawing, you'll be able to do it differently. So let's go ahead and work on another one real quick. Because this is the, the key to it ultimately is us going through individual faces, studying what is specific about that face. This is what I do all the time. This is another way to help you with your planning versus your feature style. Okay, this is what we mostly are going to be working on today here. We don't, the spontaneous feature style, once again, will come once you become comfortable with this part of learning how to draw, learning how to think out your drawing in the, in, in before you start, okay? All right, so, hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate, guys, to go ahead and give us a like. 
Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.